Hello and happy holidays. I hope you are enjoying this holiday season with your loved ones. And since the year will be ending, I will be sharing to you a breakdown of the gadgets that we had for 2025. Okay, a useful one and you can see it here because all of the gadgets, almost all of it, has a custom case with it with the Hakista colors is a 3D printer and it's really really useful for you if you want to customize things, if you want to modify things like for example create your own cyber deck. And I am currently using a Neptune or an Elego Neptune 4. It is a really budget-friendly 3D printer. And if you want to try it out, that is the one that I suggest if you are on a budget. Okay, so the next thing I want to share is this different types of mesh-tastic device. And if you're going to start out with a mesh-tastic device, I would suggest you have this LilyGo T-Deck because this one can have a firmware that could be a standalone mesh-tastic. So meaning you don't have to connect it on your cell phone. You can receive and send messages through this. The main con for a mesh-tastic device is you still need a cell phone for it. I have tried it when we were doing some hikes and the main problem with it is that you still have to educate the other person how to use it you still need a cell phone for it to um, have a settings for it to receive messages for you to reply and that's the reason why if you're gonna have a mesh tastic device the very first one that you have go with the Lilygo T deck and this is the one that is more useful to me because of that standalone UI that it has. But we do have a lot of choices that you can if you are on a budget. Just um, make sure that you know that you still need a cell phone if ever you're gonna have one. Okay, one thing that I haven't showcased yet on the channel is this. A Lilygo T-Watch S3. And this is the Apple Watch for hackers because you can put different types of firmware here, most notably a mesh plastic, so you don't have uh, to carry along things like this. So you can just connect this on your cell phone and you can have the mesh plastic software already um, running. Another one that you can do is used to be the Ghost firmware. You can put it here so you can do Wi-Fi attacks only with this um, watch. And the other one is I knew they are developing a Bruce firmware for this. So grab one now. This is, this is the Apple Watch for hackers. Okay, so 2025 is a year where Bruce firmware really took off. And we have a lot of ESP32 S3 that is compatible with it. Like for example, this is a cheap, the cheap yellow board and different types of M5 stack ESP32 devices. But my favorite out there is this, the card pewter, simply because it already has the keyboard it already has the sd card you don't have to modify it unlike this one the other m5 stack and yeah it's not just the bruce firmware that you can do this there are a lot of um, firmware out there that is useful with the card computer and that is something that i will be discussing to you in the future i'll be showing it to you but of all the esp32 s3 <laughs> devices that I've reviewed throughout the year. This is the one that I am really, really impressed. The card pewter. Now the next one is a advanced version of the Flipper Zero. This one has the Wi-Fi dev board, an NRF34, and a CC1100 in it. And the thing is, I have been trying Flipper Zero in the wild and I am having problems getting certain frequencies 
um, because I don't have a extended version of the Wi-Fi dev port. And like for example, the sub gigahertz attack, um, I was trying it out on a restaurant with pagers. And even if the pagers is just a table away from me, the flipper zero isn't getting those signals. But using a dev board like this, uh, I can easily get those signal even if it's like around five tables away. So this is if you are really or want to use your flipper zero in the wild, I suggest you get one of these advanced Wi-Fi dev board or dev board because it has different types of modules in it. And yeah, just for you to enjoy your flipper zero more. <laughs> Okay, so the last one I want to share to you, it has nothing to do with hacking, but it has something to do with the current setup that I had. It makes it possible. And this one, the first one is the Boya Magic Mic. You, it has different types of mode, but you can use it as a lapel. You can use it as an actual mic. You can just put a muffler here and you, you can use it as a podcast mic also. So that's the first one the second one is this this is a wireless projector a pocket size wireless projector and what it does is that on my cell phone which is the one that i'm using for recording as you can see it is wirelessly projecting it here so that i can see the actual framing of our of the video and one cool feature of it is that there is a record button here so I can start stop the recording the recording anytime I want without standing up here so that is the rundown of the gadgets that we have for 2025 what is your favorite and what is the most useful that you had this year and if you like this type of hacking videos check out my other videos here on Akista TV and always remember Keep on hacking, my fellow Hakista.